drew this graphic up in GIMP and I imported it into Lightburn and then I made an SVG file out of it so that I could run it through my 100 watt JPT M7 MOPA fiber laser that I got from Hey Ocean Laser. I'm going to put a link down in the description for that company and some contact info uh, if you're interested in buying a fiber laser. They have been remarkable from the time I sent payment till the time I got my laser was about eight days. Um, I don't remember, eight or ten days. But I've got first first bit of artwork here. I've spent the week uh, doing test uh, engravings and I still don't really know what I'm doing. Um, I'm not sure. I've got a practice piece of metal. I'm going to put this on first. I'm not quite sure where to set my power at though. I, I'm not sure how it's going to turn out because when I hit the preview up here, it doesn't look very good. You know, I, I can hit that preview and we're looking at the end, but you cannot see, you know, the, the letters, the white letters that are supposed to be inside this stamp here. And the rest of it looks kind of shady if you ask me, but I'm going to try and get the best cut on a piece of uh, practice metal. And then I want to, uh, put it on a saw that's been passed down from my grandfather, um, from the thirties or forties, but I thought it was really cool. Like I said, I, I drew everything in GIMP, and then I brought it into Lightburn and made it a vector. So let's go to the laser camera and see how it all works out. So apparently I didn't have the camera on before I started. I said a lot of really cool stuff. You would have loved it. I'm kidding. Now I know for a fact I need a microphone. Um, I know the fans can always see the machine's not. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I'd like to put this on my grandpa's uh, saw that he had from the 30s or 40s. It would be a really cool logo. I love Peaky Blinders and I thought, eh, I'll put this on there. That, that might be pretty cool. But something I pointed out before that didn't get recorded is I put that pipe that's laying on the base of the intake hose there just to weight it down. I guess I can move it closer, but it seems to be doing a pretty good job. Again, guys, I'm doing five passes here. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, I've got some preloaded settings from laser everything. It seems like pretty good deal for a starting point, and I guess I could expand on that as I practice more, but this being the first thing I've ever engraved aside from some test squares, it should be pretty interesting. Yeah, we're doing five passes at 42% power. I'll just uh, fast forward here and let you guys watch along.
turn the fan off. Let's go in for a little bit closer look. <clears throat> I don't think that I needed five passes. It's not bad though. I could have gone a little bit faster maybe. That actually turned out really cool. I think I'm gonna run a, just leave it here and run a cleanup pass. See what that does. Again, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm kinda of dumb. But yeah, that's in there pretty good. Hmm, I like it. I'm not gonna move it. And I'm going to run at a higher speed and lower power. I'll just do two passes, shouldn't take too long. That last one was about a 45 minute burn for those five passes. Hang tight, we'll uh, run a cleanup. All right guys, I'm gonna do another pass. I don't know how well you can hear me. Again, I know I need a microphone. But this time I'm gonna do two quick passes. I'm gonna do a thousand speed at 20% power, 55 frequency. And I'm just gonna do two passes at a 36 degree angle. Let's see what happens. I have no idea, because I've never done this before. The only way to learn is to burn and learn. Is that right? And I'm being done. Yeah, so let's preview it. Frame it up. Let's go. Alright guys, let's take a look at the finished product. That looks incredible. That cleanup pass really did it. Where the detail just came through so nice. That is impressive. Okay, practice time's over. <laughs> See you on the next one.